Hi class, in this video what I want to do is I want to show you how to use uh, Microsoft Excel for the Module 2, two questions that might come up in your Zybooks. So what I have here is I have an Excel spreadsheet that has um, a list of individuals. It looks like there are 30 individuals and it lists their age and their blood pressure. Okay, and what I want to do is I want to take this data set and I want to create a scatter plot of the data, calculate the value of R, the linear correlation coefficient for that, I want to find the linear regression line. And then I have two other questions. I want to predict the blood pressure of someone 50 years old. And then I want to refine what we call the residual for individual number 22. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is think about um, what is your X variable, what is your Y variable, right? So the X variable is the predictor variable and the Y variable is the response variable. So what we're saying here is I think age someone's age is a predictor of their blood pressure, right? Like what we would expect is that over time, um, uh, as people age, their blood pressure goes up. Okay, so first off, I'll scatter plot for this. To do this, what you're gonna do up at the top, okay? Just up at the top, you're gonna look for this insert, and you should see under charts, okay, there's something that looks like a bunch of dots here. This is the scatter plot. Now, the easiest way to do this is actually just select the two columns, right? Make sure they're selected and just click the scatter plot and boom, it'll pop it right in there for you. Okay. And you can see here, you can see the general trend is that, yes, as someone ages, it looks like their blood pressure, there's a slight increase in this. That, that's great. Okay, or not great, but that's that's what we're that's what we thought we would see. Okay. So how do you find have um uh, Excel calculate the value of R, the linear correlation coefficient? So using Excel, we're going to have them calculate something. So you click in the cell where you want it to calculate. You're going to start with the equal signs. And it's Corel, C-O-R-R-E-L. Then you're going to have a set of parentheses. And then for under array one, what you're going to do is you're going to select your ages, the entire age group there. You're going to go comma. And then under array two, where it says array two, you're going to select the second group here, the blood pressure. Close the parentheses. You're going to hit enter. And you see here how this value R, it's positive and it's close to one. Um, well, ish, it's closest to one. What that means is there, it looks like there is a positive linear relationship between the variables. Okay, that's fine. That's, that's what we... That's what we thought we would see here, okay? All right, so now what we're gonna do is we wanna find the linear regression line. Now this is a little bit tricky in Microsoft and Excel in the way Zybooks wants you to do it, okay? So we know that the linear regression line from the textbook reading is it's y is equal to mx plus b, right? So we need the slope, right? Is that value m and the intercept is b. Okay, so to do this, what you have to do, all right? Is you have to select two cells. This is incredibly important. So select two cells like this. Okay. Then you're going to type equals L I N E S T linest. You're going to start your parentheses. First thing it's going to ask for, it's going to ask for the known Ys. Well, we know that Y here, our Y variable was blood pressure. You're going to hit comma, and then the X variable was the age. So we're going to select all our ages. Now this is important. You're going to close the parentheses. Do not just hit enter right here. Okay. If you hit enter, you're only going to get return the slope here. Okay. So that's not what we want. We also want the intercept. So we're going to highlight the two cells. Select our Y's. Select our X's. Now what you have to do is you have to hold the control shift buttons together. So, you know, unfortunately you can't see this, but on my keyboard, I have right now I'm holding down the control and the shift key, and then I'm going to hit enter. Okay, so you need to hold control shift and then hit enter. And you'll notice here that this is the slope of my regression line, and this is the intercept. Now we're going to use these here. This is important, but I also want to show you another way Excel can do it really quickly. If you go back to your scatter plot and you right click on the data, can click um, add trend line. What'll happen is it'll add the linear regression line. 
you can click display equation and look y is equal to 0 0.9709 0 0.9709 when we round it 98.715 98.715 right. but the important thing here is um to answer your questions next in side books what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to use these specific values here, not these rounded ones. All right, so for example, it says predict the blood pressure of someone of 50 years old. So it's the slope, so you're going to go equals, you're going to click on the slope, times their age, plus the intercept. And we would say someone who's 50 years old, okay, we would um, predict that their um, blood pressure would be 147.26. Okay, question number five. So let's find the residual. So for individual 22. So this is individual 22 right here. Okay, it's someone who's 50 years old. And the person who's 50 years old has an actual blood pressure of 142. Okay. So we know that a residual is equal to the y actual value minus the y predicted. So the y actual value, their actual blood pressure is 142. But somebody, our, our equation, our regression line predicts that someone who's 50 years old here has an actual blood pressure of 147, okay? So you're going to go their actual value minus the predicted value. And you're going to see that the residual is negative 0.526 when we round it. I just wanted to note that at the time of the recording of this video, there is an error in the textbook. And the textbook actually does it opposite, unfortunately. They do predicted minus original. So this will be at the time of this recording. That's what the textbook, I just wanted to let you know that there's that little error. But this is the actual real situation. Okay, class, I hope that helped. I know it can be a little confusing um, with um, Microsoft Excel and there's a lot going on here, but I will save this file for you You know, in, in, to download so you can see both an empty one and try it on your own and my work.